Your vote 2022 this November Californians will see two competing measures on the ballot that could legalize the multi billion dollar industry of sports gambling. News Channel 3's Jake and Grassi is tracking this story for us live in studio tonight, going in depth on those ballot initiatives and the important question. What if they both pass Jake? Well, Peter, one of those measures would allow betting on sports teams in person at tribal casinos and racetracks, while the other would make it available virtually on any phone or computer. And now it's a race to November to see how it's all going to play out. Two competing ballot measures could open the floodgates to legal sports gambling. It's going to be up to California voters to decide how. A yes vote on Proposition 26 called the Tribal Sports Wagering Act would allow sports betting at tribal casinos and licensed racetracks, taxing profits at 10 percent. Revenue generated would go toward enforcement of sports betting, programs for problem gaming and mental health, and the state's general fund. People will have to show ID, someone will match their ID with the face, and we can ensure that people who are gambling are all of legal age. A yes vote on Prop 27 would legalize sports betting online, taxing it at 10% too. Revenue would go toward housing for homelessness and mental health support and funding for non-gaming Indian tribes. Wealthy tribes with big casinos make billions, while small tribes struggle in poverty. Who's attacking Prop 27? Wealthy casino tribes who want all the money for themselves. Three California tribes have endorsed the corporate online gaming measure, while dozens more have endorsed the in-person tribal measure. So what if both initiatives pass? The simple answer is whoever gets the most votes wins. Ian Imrick is a SoCal attorney whose firm focuses on gaming and entertainment. He says the real question, if both measures pass, is do they conflict with each other? Nathan Click with the online initiative says they don't. It worked very simply. Theirs is in person, ours is online. Uh, there's nothing in the two measures that conflict with each other. That means if online gets more votes, sports gaming could become legal both online and at casinos. But if the tribal initiative gets more votes, it may not be as clear cut. Are these two measures directly in conflict with each other? I can't answer your question directly. I wish I could. I can't. Experts say the tribes could sue, arguing the measures do conflict with each other. In that scenario, with the tribal gaming initiative having more votes, I think they would go to court and seek an injunction or other you know, procedural and legal remedies to say only the tribal measure should pass because it conflicts. Sound confusing? Policy experts say voters lacking understanding lessens the likelihood of measures like these becoming law. If they're going to be confused, they're going to they're going to take a pass and they're going to vote no. Mark Baldessari with the Public Policy Institute of California says only one in three ballot initiatives historically have passed. The default is to vote no. California voters beware. Hundreds of millions are being spent on campaigns on both sides of the issue, but we won't know until November if Californians will bet on Proposition 26, 27 or both. On the funding side of these campaigns, how much money has been raised and where is it being spent? Yeah, so Peter, right now the most money being spent is to oppose Proposition 27. More than $114 million going into that campaign to prevent online sports betting from becoming legal here in California. But contributions to support Prop 27, uh, the online measure, not far behind, just over $100 million there. TV and internet ads are widespread right now for these ballot measures. You're seeing a lot about Prop 27 ads airing both in support and against it. But I'm told that ads will soon begin airing in support of Prop 26. More than $73 million being spent on that side of these initiatives, too. Okay, our Jake and Gracia live in studio tonight. Jake, thanks.